Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to create a leverage to residuals plot in Stata. In order to do so let's go ahead and load the census 13 data set and I'm going to give you a quick look at it here in a second. It's a data set about the demographic uh, qualities of the US states and I want to create a leverage plot today, leverage to residuals plot for two variables uh, divorce rate and marriage rate. So let's say that I'm interested in analyzing the influence of divorce rate on marriage rate. So I run my regression model. The leverage to residuals plot is simply this command. It's LVR2 plot, all one word. And we just enter it. And in terms of doing regression diagnostics, what you want to be especially careful about is this area here in the top right, this quadrant here that I'm highlighting with my mouse any data points that have high residuals and high leverage are outliers and they are exerting a kind of influence on the regression that is perhaps disguising the true effect. Now in order to check on that we're going to do a couple of things. First I just want you to bear in mind we're going to come back and look at this coefficient and look at some of these results and see how they change. Before we do that though some of you might have thought this already it would be very handy to know what that data point is that we just saw that was in the top right quadrant. So we're going to repeat that command LVR2 plot, going to add a comma and then type in ML and in parentheses state and I just want to show you that state is a variable that already exists here in the data set. So it's, it's an easy way to identify that point within the leverage to residuals plot and now we actually see that the state is Nevada. It's way out here in the top right quadrant and it's a problematic variable. So what we want to do is first let's go ahead and see if we can get rid of Nevada in terms of not deleting it from the data set but maybe suppressing it and excluding it from this regression and then we're going to do the uh, leverage to residuals plot again. So the first thing I want to do is I just entered this command list state comma table and the reason I want to do that is I want to see the number associated with Nevada because these aren't string this is not a string variable every state has a numerical va value here and therefore if I want to exclude Nevada from the regression I have to find a way to exclude state number 30 and here is the syntax for doing that so I'm going to do the the regression again and we can type in reg or regress it doesn't matter I'm going to repeat the command here but I'm going to add a conditional here and I'm going to say only do this regression for states that are not state number 30. In other words, states that aren't Nevada. So that's basically what this exclamation mark followed by the equal sign is. It's, it's telling Stata to exclude the 30th state from this regression. So let's go ahead and run that. And let's look, our let's look at our coefficient again here. It's just under 1. And if you go up here, you'll see it was uh, over 6. So obviously it's a big shift and you'll see that you know R squared has changed, uh, F has changed over here. It's still significant but you can see that the model takes on a, a very different uh, value if we go ahead and exclude that outlier. So now let's go ahead and do the leverage to residuals plot one more time using the command ML at the end to label it again. And now we see that we don't really have that problematic point anymore. We have some states that exercise high leverage we have a state here looks like South Carolina that exercises a high residual but we don't have any states that are both high leverage and high residual states. So in terms of our regression diagnostics that's a, that's really a good thing to know and in this case what we learned from the graphic allowed us to improve the regression by suppressing an observation that would have been an outlier. Now I do want to note that uh, the leverage to residuals plot is not the only way of finding a high leverage, high residual items. There are other ways that you can do that numerically, but I, I do find that it's it's a lot easier to go ahead and just generate the plot and you know work visually with that. As you can see, it's very easy to you know identify and label the outliers. If you know what you're doing, it can just take a few seconds, whereas it might take longer to do that work numerically. Uh, in either case, this is a and it's important graphic to keep in mind for uh, regression. Uh, diagnostics and, and just ensuring the overall quality of your regression. 
I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore we work very closely with you in order to perfect your chapter 3 and chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter 4 uh, following a perfect chapter 3 and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.